Green moving up on the outside, followed by Fayer as they come to the turn. Felici the outside, two further back to King's Legacy. Then Mandelon beyond from aim. Ole Kirk and not an option. Coming around the corner now, Glenn Fiddick just in front. A neck away the outside. Hollyfield being hard ridden, untamed, is moving up to third, followed by Fiera. Then came Felici and King's Legacy. He's getting to the middle of the track now. It's Glenn Fiddick trying to fend them off. A length off to untamed. King's Legacy gets going. And Ole Kirk down the outside. Glenn Fiddick still in front. King's Legacy is lifting. King's Legacy goes now to Glenn Fiddick. They brush, but King's Legacy puts the head in front. And Edge is clear. He's the Group 1 King. King's Legacy claims the size produce champagne stakes double. Just edged out Glenn Fiddick. Ole Kirk in the third. Followed them by untamed from not an option for error. Further back to Felizzi. Mandelon beyond. Hollyfield blew it at the start. And, and, uh, and aim in the red hat was last to finish. King's Legacy, the size champagne double. Hugh Bowman wins the triple crown as a jockey. Farnan in the golden slipper and then the size champagne double with this horse. King's Legacy, an expensive yearling by Redoute's choice. Very brave, Glenn Fiddick, only a head away and really pushed the favourite, King's Legacy. And it'll be Ole Kirk, number six, in third spot. It's been Bowman all the way through the Group one two-year-old races in the autumn. And he, he rode it beautifully too. He just put it in. It was an easy watch if you were on him. Uh, even though the margin's only a, probably a long neck there at the finish, he was never going to get beat. <coughs> put him into a beautiful spot, Bowman. Found Ames back and just counted to 10. Ole Kirk made a surge but didn't run the mile out. And it was a terrific performance from that leader, Glenn Fiddick. He's run boldly. We stood a lot of pressure up front early. Give a kick. He was a sitting shot. And once headed, he, he had the hide to fight back. But he's superior this horse, two group ones in a row and uh, well handled by Team Snowden, the King's legacy and Bowman uh, to the fore again. One, two, six and nine. One, two, six and nine are in the frame. King's legacy, Glenn Fiddick, Ole Kirk and uh, Fayera. Waiting on the race time to go up. The size champagne double has been done around 40 times. The most recent being Guelph in 2013. Uh, Peter Snowden, congratulations. Uh, an expensive cult, but a wonderful one. Yeah, good result, Greg. Um, give him the peach for a ride. Gee, we'll look and watch the race. He'd be the one you want to be on. He travels so well and quick and nicely. And uh, no, I think this is only a start of what you probably see as a three year old. He's definitely going to a horse that's going to train on and be uh, and, uh, a horse with well, a lot of substance and a good bit of quality about him. He's done a great job to go away to Queensland and yeah. come back yeah. and really produce the best when he got back home. Yeah, there's always a, th a thought in our minds too. We, James, we spoke about it early, and we always thought these are the two races that suit him, and uh, as it's turned out, we've got them right. And uh, but he's a nice colt, he'll only get better as a three year old, there's no doubt about it. He's just doing this in more ability at the moment. Can you see a future where he'd step out over further than a mile? 100%. Yeah, he's got the right attitude, he's got a good turn of foot, he relaxes really well, as you've seen there today, and it can quicken quickly so big asset to have uh, he's a quality cold and I'm sure we'll hear a lot more of him later on. Congratulations. Thanks mate appreciate it. Peter and Paul Snowden and Huey Bowman the slipper size champagne